let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Obviously, it's our first uh, signing day as a staff. Uh, it's a very exciting time for us, a very exciting time for the University of Richmond. Uh, we began a new era. And uh, what we did with this class is we addressed a lot of the needs that uh, we felt you know, we could put together and, and keep this team going. You know, this, this team's built a great tradition, won a lot of ball games, so we needed to add pieces that fit, you know, to the school, to the university, to the team to, to keep us on track. All right, thank you. Questions for Coach Scott? Go ahead. Coach, how much concern is any, uh, was it involving, I guess, the, the verbal commits uh, to either not staying or staying? Well, you know, obviously, when you're dealing with 17-year-olds, you're worried, you know. But uh, we wanted we wanted guys who wanted to be here at Richmond, and you know, for the most part, uh, the guys who committed earlier stayed, and the guys that we picked up later on in the process were kids that really, really wanted to be at Richmond. So, you know, we did every, did everything we could do as a staff to keep keep the entire class together. And how happy are you with the results of being able to keep that class together? I mean, that's you know it's a challenge sometimes, especially in you know this this game and how it works. Definitely, I mean it's very exciting. I mean it worked out for us the way we wanted to work out. I mean obviously, you know there were there were a lot of thoughts and, and worries about you know whether this kid would come, whether that kid would come. But fortunately, we know a little bit more than the than the outsiders know, and we were able to uh, to keep the group together and get the guys who really wanted to be here. Coach, you have eight players. In-state, talk about your in-state recruiting, how they came to Richmond. We want to recruit the state of Virginia. You know, we want to recruit Richmond first. You know, I think we've had great success with with uh, kids like Eric McBride and Kevin Grayson and Dante Boston. You know, so now we go to Verona and Holland Springs and add kids from that bunch, and we're able to get other kids from the state. So it's important to us. But the other thing that I think we're able to do is that we show people that we can recruit nationally. You know, we went to Texas. Uh, so we went to California to get Aaron. Uh, you know, we went to Detroit. You know, to get another young man. So we want to recruit Richmond. We want to recruit the state of Virginia. But the thing that this program has done, you know, by winning football games, it's also made us a national program. I know it's kind of a broad question, but if you could kind of talk about your Richmond area recruits, the ones that you have coming in here. They all come from great programs. I mean, if you see the, you know, if you, if you look at the state playoffs year in, year out, I mean, Verona and Holland Springs are, are at the top of the heat. Uh, you know, they're both well-coached schools. Uh, Coach Johnson does a great job. At Holland Springs, Coach, Coach Brown does a great job at Verona. And if you look at the type of players that we got from Holland Springs, you know, we got a dominant defensive lineman. You know, we've got a, a safety that I think is as physical as any kid in the conference. Uh, you know, and when you look at Jarrell Harrison coming up, coming over from Verona, he gives us a receiver that you know will be able to walk in and fill the shoes of Grayson and Boston and Trey Gray and those guys when they leave. It's funny at schools like Verona and Holland Springs. I mean. You know, a lot's been made about your age as a coach, but the guys who are coaching at those schools are right around the same age as you, and you're obviously from here. So dealing with those guys, as it, how, how easy has it been and how pleasant has it been to obviously deal with coaches that you can relate to uh, from maybe an experience or just a life standpoint and, and obviously being able to go out there and recruit that way? It's very easy because, you know, the, the city of Richmond's home to me, and uh, there are a lot of coaches that – are still around from you know from when I played here, but there are a lot of good young guys that I kind of grew up in the business with. I mean, I remember when Lauren played at Virginia Tech, and I remember when Stu was at Verona the first time as an assistant. So, you know, having a relationship with those guys in a previous situation definitely helps in this you know in this recruiting. Coach, based on the uh, roster you have now, were there specific positions you were looking at that you really wanted to recruit hard, and if so? How did you do in those specific positions, do you think? Well, I think, uh, you know, obviously coming into the situation, quarterback was a concern for us just because, you know, we had one quarterback that uh, that had had playing experience in John. So, you know, Aaron kind of fills a void there, you know, having two experienced quarterbacks. Running back was a concern. You know, to be able to go down to Texas and get James McKinney, he gives us another big physical running back that, you know, gives us the ability to pound the ball and do some of the things that we did here in the past with Josh Vaughn and Tim Hightower. Uh, offensive line-wise, you know, we added two guys. Uh, Kirk Schmitz and uh, Brian Cosgrove, you know, who are big kids, and, and we needed to, to fill some voids on the offensive line, and we signed a great defensive lineman out of Pennsylvania and Evan Kelly. So we were able to kind of hit a lot of different needs, and, and I expect us to sign one or two more guys after the signing date, you know, just to fill this void because the weather last weekend kind of, you know, kind of hurt us in recruiting a little bit. We didn't want to risk getting some kids in and getting them stuck here and not being able to get them out. So, you know, we, we've still got one or two, two more things to accomplish. Coach, for you to basically be – I guess behind the eight ball, so to speak, coming in late December, early January, for me to get this many, these many recruits, some here in this region, um, I guess is a testament to 
your pedigree of being a great recruiter and also the university as a whole and what they've done over the last few years? I can probably take less credit than any any time I've ever been recruiting because I think uh, our staff is, is great, you know, from our coordinators to – to uh, you know the position coaches, these guys hit the ground running, and they basically said, "Coach, this is what we think. This is where we need to go." And uh, we we spent countless hours. I mean, we probably worked, you know, more than a lot of people would have worked, but we knew that we were a little bit behind, and we got together. And I have to give this staff a bunch of credit for what they were able to do. Uh, I mean, Coach Thweed, our recruiting coordinator, did an excellent job in his first stint as a recruiting coordinator. He he did all the things that he needed to do to help us assemble a great class. After Coach Lemon's departure, there was obviously some discussion about recruits going to UVA because they committed to London and decided to go there. Jake McGee, a guy who uh, a lot of people expected to come here and ended up going there. Can you just talk a little bit about that in terms of whether that turned out to be a significant issue for you guys or whether you kind of got everybody you expected to get even with the departure of Coach Lemon? Well, I mean, anytime you're in any kind of situation, you know, to uh, to just, just – Set something straight about Coach London. Coach London's a stand-up guy. You know, he did a great job while here at Richmond, and a lot of people, you know, gave Mike a lot of flack for for this and that. But Mike did what was best for him at the time at the University of Virginia. We totally understand that. Uh, you know, recruiting is a tough business. You know, I can't tell you that you know there weren't other kids that were interested in other places that didn't contact Richmond. So, you know, Mike did what was best for him at his program. And uh, in regards to Jake McGee, Jake handled this situation with much more class than probably any 17-year-old kid would have. Uh, you know, we thank the world of Jake and his family, and and we wish him all luck. But, you know, just, just to continue to answer your question, we're very happy with the guys we got, and we, we got the guys that want to be at Richmond and the guys that want to help Richmond succeed. All right, Saturday, you to kind of get this ball rolling. You've done everything behind the scenes now. Now you just, you know, got basically you got to see the king rise, so to speak. I'll be excited to coach football again. You know, uh, I, I enjoy the, the recruiting and the, you know, the ability to get out and market the University of Richmond, but uh, we're, we're excited about spring practice and opening on March 16th and just having the ability to be football coaches again because we feel like in as much as we've been here, we really, really haven't had the opportunity to spend time around the guys that were here, you know, the guys that really make this machine go right now. We had to go out and, you know, add guys to the mix to help fortify the future, but, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to getting back to our actual team. How much did McBride and also Grayson, I guess, play a role in kind of keeping some of these area kids – in this area, to Kevin's the mayor of Richmond, so Ke Kevin kind of uh, no, no respect to Mr. Jones, but but uh, you know Kevin, you know did a great job for us in recruiting, and uh, you know Eric did as well. I mean those those are the best representatives we we have for the city of Richmond, and, and those kids from Richmond they can see the success and the exposure that Kevin and Eric have gotten, and I think it, it's very easy to see. Hey, these guys have had a great situation, so we should do the same thing. Coach, you got Aaron Corp kind of. Um, an interesting time in the recruiting process. Did that influence the rest of your recruits at all, having a guy come in from USC, a school you usually don't see on the 1AA radar? I think it did, but, you know, we really didn't involve Aaron in the recruiting process because we wanted Aaron to come in and be able to be a student at Richmond. And uh, to Aaron's credit, I mean, Aaron has come in and done a great job of mixing with the team and mixing with everybody that's here. You know, you wouldn't know that Aaron was a quarterback at USC last year. I think if you see him walking around campus, he looks just like a normal Richmond student, and our kids have, have taken to him just like they would anyone else. Anything else for Coach Scott? So yeah. Aaron, Aaron hasn't bailed out yet. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the first, the last time he was here, he hadn't gone to class yet, but he hadn't missed since then. <laughs> but you said you're you're happy with who you've got, and, and it was it had to have been a bit of an uncomfortable situation for you when so many of these guys were courted and and picked by the previous staff, committed to the previous staff. Uh, assess all in all, if you would. Are, are you comfortable with your group as a whole? Is, is that what what you would have chosen to fill the spots that needed to be filled? Well, the thing about it, especially with the local guys, I and mean, we had the opportunity to evaluate all these kids last year in Virginia. You know, so we knew these kids, and then the Richmond kids. I've known these kids since they were young. When they were, you know, a lot of these kids were in camp here at the University of Richmond, and you know, with the other kids, we really took a look at them to make sure that they fit what we needed and what we wanted, and we also wanted those kids to feel comfortable around us. So, any changes or thoughts or decisions that that were made were made for the good of the kid and the good for you know the good of the team. Uh, academics are always an issue at, at this institution. Mm -hmm. Feel pretty good that, that mm -hmm. all of these guys. We'll be able to get in. Oh, no question about it. I mean, we we don't deal with people that uh, you know we don't feel can cut at the University of Richmond because we we know how the curriculum is. We we know we have a 
a great group of professors, and, and these professors push these kids. So we really shy away from people that you know we don't feel that.